Hi there. For this video, we are tasked to solve for x in the equation cosine x minus cosine 2x equals 1 half, where x is in the set from 0 degrees up to 180 degrees. So to start solving this problem, we must first know that cosine 2x is actually equal to 2 cosine square x minus 1. So we have arrived with this due to, the, due to what we call the double angle identity. So take note of that one. And from that, we can now write the equation above as cosine x minus 2 cosine square x minus 1 equals 1 half. Distributing the negative sign out here would give us cosine x minus 2 cosine square x plus 1 equals 1 half. Now moving this 1 half out here and subtracting it on 1, we will have cosine x minus 2 cosine square x plus 1 minus 1 half or 1 minus 1 half is simply one half. So that's just from our idea on fractions. And this one is equal to zero. So now from here, what we can do is we can actually uh, rearrange some terms. Uh, I'm pertaining to this term out here. So if you are wondering why, well, that will make sense uh, later when we did when we do a process in this problem. So this would become negative two cosine square x plus cosine x plus one half equals zero. And lastly, just to simplify things we can multiply 2 we can multiply 2 in the whole equation to remove this denominator out here and we can also multiply a negative 1 out here to turn this one into positive so this one would become 4 cosine square x minus 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0. And from here, let's remove this one. So we have written the equation above into 4 cosine square x minus 2, minus two cosine x minus 1 equals 0. Now the next thing that we would do is I would let y equal cosine x. And so we will have an equation of 4y squared minus 2y minus 1. And what can you observe here? As you can observe, we have actually converted this equation above here into a quadratic equation. So to get the value of y, we simply apply the formula for the quadratic roots. So we have y is equal to, recall that the formula is given by negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a where 
this refers to A, this refers to B, including the negative sign, and this refers to C. So Y is equal to negative B is negative times negative 2, which is just 2, plus minus square root of B squared is, um, let's, let's write it, negative 2 squared minus 4 times A is 4, C is negative 1, all over 2A or 8. So this one, well, we will have 2 plus minus. Simplifying the expression inside, that would give us two square, negative 2 squared is 4. And this whole one out here is simply 16. So when we add that one, we will have 20 out here all over 8. And notice that we can actually write 20 as 4 times 5. So we can remove out the 4 out here, move it out of the square root, and we will have 2 plus minus 2 square root of 5 all over 8. And also notice that we can actually write 8 as 2 times 4. So we can divide 2 in both these. So doing that, dividing 2, or we can write it to be clearly seen. We can write this one as 2 times 1 plus minus square root of 5 all over 2 times 4, canceling the 2 out here. And we are left with 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 4. So we have found that y is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 4. Since we know that y is equal to cosine x, then we can write this one as cosine x is equal to 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 4. Now after here, to get the value of x, we simply have x is equal to the inverse of 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 4. And this is actually the answer. But to simplify things, you could use a calculator to solve for first for x equals the inverse of 1 plus square root of 5 over 4 as well as the inverse of the, the cosine inverse of 1 minus square root of 5 over 4. And you can verify that this one is actually equal to, the first is equal to 36 degrees. And this next one is equal to 108 degrees, which are both in this range. And so we conclude that x is either equal to 36 degrees or x is either equal to 108 degrees. And that is the answer for this problem. So the key is observing that we can write cosine 2x as 2 cosine squared x minus 1 through the double angle identities. And then observing as well that we can convert the problem into a quadratic equation by letting y equals cosine x. Upon the use of the quadratic root formula, we arrive with the value of y, then we return to the value of x, then we apply the inverse cosine function to get the value of x. So I hope you've learned a lot in this video. 
feel free to comment down below any clarifications for this problem or any solutions that you can think of to solve for this problem. And so, that is all for this video.